Okay, today is September the 30, 2020. Yesterday, upon the completion of a job interview at a job placement agency right here in Slovenia, in city of Novo Mesto, it's also the company I have identified. I'm going to claim one as an NKO approved for two. The girl did like a really, really smooth job with it. Um, I was... Hmm scheduled for appointment at a local employer here in the city of the Novo Mesto. Uh, actually in vicinity of the city of the Novo Mesto, in, in, in vicinity of the city Trebne, Trebne, about 25 kilometers away from here for position, uh, quality control, something in that sense, uh, in car assembly industry, in car manufacturing parts, if you like industry right uh, and so this was the meeting I had today uh, therefore with the employer the, the employer the name of the company is a TPV TPV and the job placement agency that sent me there uh, involved in MK Ultra already I believe they were there already in 2012 um, Carriera uh, job placement agency Carriera from Novo Mesto um, both of which I have identified. One was involved in MK Ultra case, uh, the gentleman uh, that supposedly would be my boss. Um, already, sometimes since I have no idea, maybe two thousand and two thousand and I don't know. 2003 2004 I have no idea how far this goes uh, it, it goes to 2003 I would say 2003 maybe earlier because the company I'm talking about right now was actually located mainly here it started off here right here from the city of the Novo Mesto uh, they started one and so just like in Poland in Czech Republic in in, in Ukraine in Russia uh, the heavy uh, duty investors, I should say, the investors, the main investors from the West, they flooded this area here in the city of the Novo Mesto in Slovenia as well. Of course, in Ljubljana and Maribor and everywhere else, they flooded here with investments, with, with their own uh, manufacturing, assembly, all kinds of uh, whatever they did, they invested here, uh, and so the industry started to restructure itself from mostly what was domestic to also um open border international yeah in a little bit i'm gonna get to that what kind of industry um this is really really important uh video i'm gonna start i'm gonna continue off from mk ultra proofs i managed to gather the stuff that i have presented about poland this is Poland, Czech Republic, where I was brought already since 1995, actively all the way to mid 2006. And then still I would be brought back occasionally in 2008, in 2010, um, in 2012, 2013, 2015, 2017. Basically, even during the time when I was actually thrown inside of the mental hospital, hospitalized, uh, as for having some kind of delusions, um, paranoid schizophrenia, that this is how they have referred themselves to MKUltra torture. They would not admit, they would not recognize what they did. Uh, they, they delayed, they, they all kinds of excuses they came up with but they could never rationalize um one as per my statements did not have anything to do with with the paranoid schizophrenia i have in fact proven my case beyond any beliefs with the hardcore proofs with through the memory what i have managed actually to obtain statements from witnesses from ability to recall um reconstructions um of the cities in Poland, elsewhere, also in Ukraine, I also did the same thing. 
I would just go through the Google Maps and I would start to point out what have changed in a certain street. I got to present more proofs. Ladies and gentlemen, I have about two terabytes of audio recordings and video recordings, all kinds of stuff. Uh, people that I have met and they told me about places where they are and I would go look for it and then I would find myself on a certain locations that I would I could recall from the memory what building was built when what this and that no different is here with the Slovenia this house where I am from this is this is a house in the city of the Nova Mesta this is where in Slovenia at least is where everything started it's a house of my parents it's a huge house the size almost of a castle with fence around this is a fence property with a riverfront and it was just something that Putin loved here uh, it's something that Schroeder loved here it was something that Hollywood loved here uh, politicians loved here George Bush loved here people who brought investors love it here and uh, this is something I'm not gonna get over I'm not gonna give away this stuff and so what happened now with a gentleman whom I have met today this is how the investment started to flood in this city of the Nova Mesta as well. Um, here always Renault was. Renault is an old um, company here, but the TPV helped himself a lot financially, not only through investments, but also through the market on the West. They would start to build motor homes and stuff like this. They in the company, which I have identified, they are producing nothing other than parts from Mercedes, BMW, Volkswagen, MUN, and so on and so forth. So if I did trigger your mm, question, what kind of industry, who, you can probably guess that these brands are all German brands. Uh, company where I was at, simply sometimes in 2010, uh, was brought here, I don't know, uh, I think probably Norway. Uh, Sweden, not. Norway, probably. Um, they would just, uh, Angela Merkel just happened to be in the area and she just would have this always theme of people with her. And I was brought here and they again, this and that. Trebnia, this is a city where my niece's husband is from. And so this was the area already, investors already familiarized early, um, early on time um, this is not this was not something new it was other stuff I have also identified I did not only identify yesterday the job placement company I did not only identify today the employer uh, potential employer and I did not uh, but I have also identified the vicinity the area where I was and so I, I, I no wonder I have identified what I thought it was in 2005 um, uh, like a store uh, they would like completely um, rebuild the store. Uh, it was not in 2005. The memory was quite alive. After I finished with employer, uh, actually before I would go to employer, I dropped my mom, my dad, you know, left them at the, uh, like in a little shopping center, the store with a little bar they have over there. They went for a coffee and stuff like this. And I went uh, on a, for an interview with employer. For, the, for, for this employment purposes. Uh, and so I did not even pay attention. I know I saw it and I immediately knew that I was there and this and that, but it didn't cross my mind because I was mostly occupied because I yesterday already when I had this interview uh, with a job placement agency. And it doesn't matter because before even meeting these people, I already have described the place. I already have described the person I'm going to meet and two other people, it was actually more. It was actually much, much more that went on. These people invested heavily in this city of Trebnia, 25 kilometers away from here, uh, in my memories, so I could recall them, so I would remind myself of what went on. Um, and I did so also today. I was so preoccupied that I just ignored the location where I left my mom and dad, and I went, after I left them, I went walking toward this company and thinking, 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 what exactly am I going to see? And I started to pull the information out. As soon as I saw the, as we passed, I saw I saw the new, completely new building. A new building looked like it was built like yesterday. 
uh, in 2020, 2019, like a warehouse. And then another new building right next to it. And then a big parking lot next to it, right? So what happened was uh, when I dropped my mom and dad, I told them, I told my mom, I remember this place where we were right now, right? Since 2012. My mom said, no, 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 no. This is not since 2012. Uh, this most likely is a new company. Uh, I fail to take pictures. I take, I fail to take uh I didn't do it because I didn't want an employer actually to, to, to watch me take a video and stuff like this. I should have because God knows how many were going to get the job now with them. I have no idea what's going to be the case. But anyhow, this is like a shiny, much more than what I'm about to demonstrate you on a Google. Uh, totally brand new company and this and that. And as I walk there, I already described um, what, what goes through my mind or basically the people that I met in this company. What goes through my mind is a gentleman whose name is really unusual, but he's Slovenian. Uh, not, um, I'm not going to give this. Uh, the audio recording is in Slovenian language. I'm going to pop you the whole thing so you can listen to it. So that this either for the law enforcement, for the police, for the prosecutor, for whoever, Anybody, whoever would have anything to say about authenticity of this tape, just so they can confirm that this, this is, these are memories. After all, for the psychiatrists, for the psychologists, for the people that work in a field of human mind, so they can confirm that this is how the memories are recorded from MK Ultra. Uh, and so, first, uh, I I pulled out. A memory about him this was the first thing boom 2012 2012 is exactly when this thing also opened this is already the stuff and you know i argue with myself i became quite a philosopher because you make a claim and then you have to be suspicious about your own claim and you have to adjust you have to recall other memories because you have to challenge yourself to become to sharpen that memory to the most possible dot which you want to then present to the public this is the way it is um, so you come up with with a lot of stuff with a lot of memories and from those memories some some are memories that were also designed to disrupt you to to cause you more trouble than good it was all kinds of stuff involved in this company too they have used ghost workers they, they also try to um, to find basically the way out they also try to uh find uh, you know excuse uh something that would uh, that could be it could be like this and could be like that so i realize that it's my job to ensure that it cannot be like this and it cannot be like that but it's got to be exactly the way i present the case and in case i it can be like this and like that it doesn't do me any good you know uh, look, in, uh, Czech police have stolen me memory cards, USB keys. They have they have stolen me. I have no idea. Beside two telephones with the memory cards, with the memory cards, uh, five memory cards, two telephone internal memory, um, plus four USB keys, plus I don't know how many other. Everything I had, basically, like portable stuff, portable wise, everything was gone. And so now imagine you, they, they can go and they can assemble their own stuff now. This is what the Czech Republic did. It's very dangerous, folks. This is very dangerous. They go inside of your pockets and they pick pocket and they make, they can do their stuff the way they want to do. Uh, this is something I'm going to accent. I am very, very unhappy about what took place in the Czech Republic. Uh, and so it, they also tried to conceive the stuff. Uh, let's say the girl yesterday was really careful about how she got me um, uh, from one location to the other one. One location I could not work. It's 40 kilometers away from here um, because it's in three different shifts, she told me, because I, I don't have my own transportation. So she found a way, um, actually wanted to obtain from me interest if I would be, therefore, if I would be willing to commit myself uh, to interview at this other location, which I did. And so now what happens is um, 
you see it's it looks like we never made math on this and that she tried to do it in this way but like I said yes yes of course we did of course we did um, as far as the company I pointed out year 2012 they popped up I pointed out how the building was actually built I have pointed out how they have rebuilt uh, one facility enlarged this uh, facility into a bigger manufacturing warehouse um, then what they would do is they would put this new uh, building which was um, I think they they put this new building but this is a little bit confusing because there was something there too but this is this was a new building they built uh, actually the, the 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 proper structure the way I see this thing that happened was first what they did was they modernized uh, they changed entirely what I can tell from the memory from the inside of the facility it was like a, in Slovenian language you say garderobe uh, it's a wardrobe it's where you go change clothing and stuff this was old. It was an old facility. It kind of reminded me of locations where I was working here uh, prior to departure to US in 95. In this old type of um, closets the workers would use uh, where they would store their clothing and stuff like this. And as like I said, it's where I met workers already from this facility back then. Um, the parking lot is like the gentleman said, but this is what I already explained before I get there. It was small, it was a completely different parking lot, Could, totally unrecognizable. It was just something over there that I can actually completely give picture what exactly that looked like uh, right next to that facility. Um, and so they covered this old facility uh, and they look one like new then it appeared as if they would enlarge this as they added some portion to it um, pretty much before I come to not pretty much but 100% before I approach to the gate where security lets me in I already explained everything what adds up to during the beginning of the interview into a total facts the gentleman I meet is actually the German who also is at this facility since 2012. Now what I did go wrong about, just as I have pointed out, everything as I have pointed out now, what I did go wrong about is that during he was already, I remember him, one of the first people at this TPV, at this in Nova Mesto. Uh, what I did make wrong about is that at this location, which opened in 2012, um, I had impression that he was working in a production for two years and then he joined inside of this new office they created along uh, with uh, other personnel. Uh, this is something I was wrong about. Uh, I had a feeling there was another gentleman that was that always worked there. This was one mistake I did. The second mistake, the receptionist girl uh, had a dark girl. I had impression this girl already worked since beginning of this uh, of this office uh, reception office where they first meet you before they take you in the production line. Um, everything I want to demonstrate on the computer too. Uh, no, I understand according to him, but he didn't say that. I don't know. I to me it appeared like she's there since 2050. But if it's not okay in that case. And the third thing he said also that I'm wrong about the German who was in a red suit at the beginning when you entered the manufacturing facility, uh, this assembly lines manufacturing, uh, that is a really young German, that he was uh, already employed over there since 2017 at least. That's what they told me also I was wrong about what how this and that I have no idea maybe longer maybe less I have no idea uh, the bottom line is I remember what his farm uh, actually home looks like where his home is located and so on I also give the description uh, inside of this 
uh, audio recording for the Slovenian people so, so that if you would go and look for the authenticity of my memories, whether this is true or not, this undeniably, uh, it's a really, really easy thing for me to de facto tell you in English language that I pointed out entire history of the building of the, on the of this facility, how everything was modernized. I have also not fallen for idea uh, that this is a brand new building and stuff like this. Like my mom insisted, it's a new building. Plus that, then I proceeded back. I returned where my mom and dad were, where I left off from my mom and dad, where they stayed drinking coffee at this store, at this little, little shopping center, if you like. And I met over there. Um, I was about to leave. And before I leave, I still go inside of the um, inside of the store because it clicked me that I was here. And I go inside of the store and I you know, actually start talking to a sales lady. I ask her if this was actually modernized because I know it was old and I also know how it was also modernized. I can also go there and explain what was modernized, what was first and what last. Unfortunately, I have not done that. My mom and dad were impatient waiting in the car for me to go. They waited for me until I job interview and no wonder. So uh, the gentleman comes out, actually, he tells me it was not in 2005. We did this in 2000, but yes, correct. So it's not only the company that I pointed out, that I pulled out from the memory, but it also is the area that I pointed out what was built uh, basically already in, not in 2005, but in 2000, actually rebuilt, changed, modernized, if you want. So that's yet another stuff. I should have taken photos and this and that, but you know what? You can't do all this stuff like this. It's not just that you would, it's not just so easy. So this is, this is yet another one I'm gonna use as an MK Ultra proof. This was recorded everything today on September the 30th, 2020, but I got too much stuff like this to go through, too much, too, too many things to, to complete. As far as the Carriera, uh, as far as how this company, this one here, this branch of this company, how this came, I already explained. Um, husband from my sister's niece is from the Trevnia area. Uh, and uh, as this business people, spent time here they would also go to that area they would go back and forth in slovenia they got to know everything my family back and forth they were everywhere and they invested they also invested in this area sometimes in 2010 merkel brought her delegation along with her uh, and we're gonna do this for you and uh, we're gonna put this uh, company here um, we're going to put something here. And then the only thing you hear is, okay, we, we, it's going to be this and that. And it's like uh, the, the way it, she also explained to me how they determined this. They determined this based on geographical location and of the needs of the industry, uh, of the German industry, basically where they want to have certain type of industry. What is over there as a Car parts, production, manufacturing could as well be something else. God knows what if they had other needs. This could be also Mr. Berlusconi or this could also be Mr. Macron or could be some other, some other politician uh, that could actually commit himself to needs of his, um, um, his industrial needs his country's industrial needs. This is the way it is. This is actually in a good location. This is not exactly, but not too far from what used to be Ljubljana, Zagreb, and then Belgrade down, uh, basically from Europe all the way through the Balkans main route, uh, main highway, uh, old highway, which was then replaced with a new highway, but this old highway still remained and it's still very important uh, part of the Slovenian infrastructure as you go down towards Zagreb. The locals still use it, big companies, they like to base themselves because it's a really good infrastructure you know, through the area. 
along this main new highway they, they, they built, right? So this is basically how the hell that happened, uh, how this company came, uh, became bigger and started to produce this kind of stuff. Yes, I know this also I was taught, you know, it was all kinds of political stuff. Well, what are you going to say this? Well, be careful. These are our jobs. It's this, it's that. Yes, I completely understand uh, all this stuff. I, I, I completely understand. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Just put it on my bill um, and um, think about like this. Uh, it, it's I, I, it, There's nothing anymore I wasn't guilty about in this life, okay? And just cool down and take it as it is, all right? So um, the next thing I can do is I will play you the entire audio recording about from today. Uh, as far as the career of job placement agency, um, that these girls are extremely hardworking, ambitious, like I said most likely already in this center already since 2012. I'm pretty damn sure since 2012. And they were the first girls that were really, really professionally, uh, like professional placement. They started like in Slovenia, like like that I would know of, especially I'm proud because they're from Novo Mesto. And you can damn and you can see them all over the place doing their job. They're really, really ambitious doing their job. These are young girls but really, really hard working. Uh, they, they really take pride in their work and I'm just happy things go along really well for them um, because they deserve it. Um, they, I don't know how much that's true or not, but there is a strong chance this hat girl that met me and actually gestured to me that the two other agencies that appeared, at least that was in 2015, 100% in 2017, all right? If it was not in 2015, it was in 2017 that two other little agencies appeared in the same shopping center. And one is a job, your job, job placement, your, your work, work agency, whatever. And then is another one, whatever. Um, she gestured me that she is actually, because yeah, yeah, I couldn't get her really for anything. She was really, really smooth. And she told me, I'm not going to be able to point out that she was, that she had anything to do with it. That is going to be done like this. Um, that is doing so well. They're doing so well that they are basically expanding. That this is, this is already part of branch part of their branch. So that basically goes under their supervision, either supervision, but I think more ownership than supervision. This is how skilled these young girls are. They work viciously, boy. They are really, really presentable. Uh, things in Slovenia in respect to job market started to change. They, they, they took a whole new look approach, professional approach. Uh, just about with, with these girls, everything started to change, really. They are, in my opinion, if you ask me if you go for a job, something like this, far more professional than if you go for, uh, if you go to a state office here that is run by the state, uh, a placement job, state placement agency or something like this, it's a shame, really. These girls are doing a hell of a good job. Now, because of what I have stated, and I'm not saying this because I don't know if I'm even going to get job now because of this stuff I did right now. Um, uh, if, if I get, I get. If I don't get, I don't get. I look for other jobs. Uh, but I'm going to use this as a first MK Ultra proof right here in Slovenia. And from here on, I'm going to get rid of this proofs that I have about Czech Republic and more Poland. I'm going to bombard with the Poland and Ukraine and so on and so forth. Not that it's the right thing for the UN to delay and stop this stuff because I'm almost 50 years old. And this is not the way. 26 years of my life was screwed up like this. Taking time away from me like this, uh, this is not the way things are done. Uh, if you are some kind of serious organization, agency uh, for the human rights, for now, I don't actually even know how to explain about my case, what this is. So, yeah, it would be nice to, to step in and do your job, basically. That would be a nice thing to do. 
So this is another one from Slovenia. I'm not going to play anything about uh, job placement agency. However, I can tell you already on my way back from job placement agency before I turn off the phone. I already recorded myself yesterday right here. Um, in fact, that this company, um, I have already described about, uh, you know, a person, a, a company and so on, where I'm going to go about next today, where I had the interview today. So this is another one. This is in Slovenian language. You can bet a company is identified further uh, a store next to this company, uh, the area of the store is also identified. And believe me, if I put my nose in the city of the Trebnia and stuff like this, and I would pull, I go, and I will start to pull this stuff uh, that you would not know under absolutely any circumstances unless you would be here. And I dare to say this because I got it. Because when I need to pull something out, I pull it. And I did prove myself this time and again. Uh, in Poland, in Czech Republic, and so on. So I'm not afraid to even say like this. If somebody wants to test, let's go and do it. All right, thanks for watching this video. Till next time, September the 30th, 2020 was recorded, and it's going online today. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's just continue with the stuff uh, I have suggested. Right here, it's called Adria, right here. This is Adria. This is known as Adria. This always was an old Slovenian company. Yeah, I earlier made a little mistake and have mistaken TPV, TPV, TPV with Adria. No, they did not make no um, campers. They, they did not make any of that stuff. Motorhomes, they did not. Adria did. Uh, I made a mistake in respect to this. Adria is an old Slovenian company. TPV company, and this is what Slovenian people, you should listen to this. This is the company exclusively created, I'm going to say almost by myself. This is the company exclusively created through the foreign markets, through the foreign capital, right here in the city of the Novo Mesto. And it started sometimes in 2004, when I supposedly, 2003, 2004, when supposedly... I was in United States of America, remember, between 1995 and mid-2006, almost up to 2007. I never ever was supposedly in Europe, on the European continent, anywhere in Europe. Yet, in 2003, 2004, this is where the money came. And you are talking about George W. Bush, you're talking about Angela Merkel, you're talking about a Buckingham Palace, you're talking about the Sarkozy. You're talking about the French politicians, German politicians, British financiers, Italians, uh, you know, all the Eurospin, Little Hofer, everything that you have here, everything was whatever I was. And the people who realized whatever I was knew that there would be a politicians. There, there were politicians, whatever they brought me. Politicians used me. Uh, and the people that wanted to run the businesses used me too, they, because whatever I was, the politicians were, investors were, this is also where they were. And so this is how they met and this is how they started the business. This company later in 2012 here, yeah, this no longer is the same Sebastian, Bustian, the same one, like the one that left to Poland in 2018. Now it's a little bit different situation. Now... I got a whole, a whole, a lot to tell you about the Novomest and about everything. Now I can talk as a free man. Before I could not. Now I can. I can do the same thing I did in Poland. Here, this is a Trebne. This location here, 25 kilometers away. Uh, this location here, you're not going to even see here. Let me demonstrate something. This is a branch that opened in 2012 here, but it was another company here before this. And I was in this area already before 2000 because, like I said, from my niece's husband, he is from here, from this area here. So this is just, it just happened so that I was around here. This, let me demonstrate you something here. 
along with the company I identified here today, I have also identified this here. This is called Velika Loka, this place here. This is where a heavy, heavy, heavy duty MK Ultra went on right here. Here. And you cannot see anything here. You cannot see anything here. However, this here, this place here, actually it's here. Yeah. It's here. It's also the, what's uh, known as a postal. It's postal office. This, this is like a store here. Kmetiska Zadruga Trebnia. Let me see if I can get you a picture. This whole thing, this was a remodel in 2000, not in 2005. You're about to hear me on the audio if you speak Slovenian language. But you got a healthy boy to know all this. And I know exactly how it remodeled, what it remodeled, and so on and so forth. Uh, to give the description and so on. Yeah. Also identified. This started already in this area here. It was already before 2000. This here, this place here, this place here in 2012. But the man, the man whom I have met today, the man whom I have met, this picture you can actually see. This is something you can actually see. We're going to do it like this. Actually, I'm going to do it like this. Ah, yeah. This one you can actually see. This is this is the company, this right here. Yeah, this here. This is the company I have identified today. Everything I have identified together with uh, a parking lot, with this parking lot here that you see. This is a parking lot. This was enlarged. What I can tell you about this stuff here, this was just this here that you see. This was just like a little parking lot back then, like this little thing, just this here up front here, like this. It was nothing there. It was nothing. It was just this. Now, it's like this. The guy, the guy says, when I speak to him, it enlarged, of course, and I can tell you exactly what it enlarged. I can tell you exactly what this was. Back then, when it all started, it was just here uh, in the back. Um, I am not actually even sure when I see this here. Um, back then, it was just a facility, some kind of old facility it was. Then it added more stuff here. And now, today, it's like a square. It's like a big square. It's like a huge giant big square like a big big square like you would build one this year or something like this like completely completely new company and yet i as i walked inside and i met the gentleman whom i knew from the location i have demonstrated a little bit earlier from the center of the city i give him exact description of how what changes took systematically so that facility would look like the one you don't even see it here today on this picture it's already more modernized in the back is already this this whole thing is like incorporated in a building like a big giant square it looks completely different than even what you see here what you see here this picture uh i had interview today this is another thing that is important to note and this is a fact a matter of the fact it's right now 22 almost 100 hours and i had an interview at just 2 30 and the only thing yesterday i did was um as a matter of fact excuse me not yesterday but today when i came back from actually before i went to appointment the only thing i did was I entered TPV Trebnia City like this, and the only thing I got was this thing here. I did not even see the picture that you are seeing right now. And I went beyond the picture. I explained to you beyond the picture, before beyond everything, before beyond even of what you see right there. That's one thing. The man I met is from here. I mean, I'm I I I the man I met, I met him first here, in this place here, this. 
This is where it started, the business, TPV. This was the first thing where it started, in front of the Renault. Uh, it, it was like nothing, that it will be nothing, nothing big, nothing this. It, let me tell you, there's a lot of people happy having employment. Well, I can literally say because of me. This stuff here, this TPV company, was very contradictory. Renault always was here, Adria, Slovenian company, always was here, but this year, this was like a test. This was like, we're going to see if we're going to get anything out of this, cooperating with these Germans and with these people at all. And it looks like it paid them off really well. Um, uh, I would say so. I would say that, that they did not regret this stuff. No, nobody gave me this kind of recognition, but this is just a matter of fact. The gentleman I met today with this very unusual name uh, is already a man I know since this man was there since, I don't know, man, beginning of the company. This was, I'm not going to say beginning of the company, but this was one of the old people that was there longer than, um, you know, other people. I would have to go more and meet people and this and that. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is like... And the people that I met today, definitely a good stuff. This here is, this here, this is, this is really good stuff here. Let me demonstrate to you something. This here that I have recognized. Uh, if somebody has a doubts, talking to the police right now in Slovenia, we're going to go to this place here together in front of these people if somebody has a guts to challenge it's called Kmetiska Zadruga it's actually a union of the farmers of Trebnia city and I'm going to tell you which employee you understand which employee worked for how long and now you're talking about the ladies and stuff like this yeah, because I remember about the stuff that went on. There was some crazy stuff that went on here. At this place here. Um, very, very big hall. MK Ultra location right here. Yeah, Farmers Union of Trebnia City. Posta. This, this here. Big time. And I can give some more background. You know what the city is here? The other day when I traveled, this is, yeah. MK Ultra went on big time also in Slovenia and also in this part of Croatia here that you see here. This is another thing here. From Zagreb up and also Karlovac. But MK Ultra went on also. People also know me here well. This is a Belgrade city. Too. There was also the stuff that went on in the Belgrade, in the Serbia. So, that much about this video. A job placement agency, um, and this located actually in this building here. This is on Novi Turk, and two other companies, job placement agencies here somewhere. Yeah, I think that this is the company actually that was uh, the company that actually is like pattern of these two other companies that appeared because these girls they're very very professional but I think actually is an owner of this thing I think it's an owner it's either a spouse of that girl I think that I had interview with um, and I think they own those two other companies as I stated. These people, all I want to say to them is thank you very much. Um, some Americans, when they find out about this stuff, were very, very discouraging from me appearing at the company I did appear today to have the interview. It's very, very important to note that Mr. Trump and his team 
had a real, real, real problem, had a lots and lots of difficulties with absolutely everyone and everything that tried to help me along the way. They observed well what went on, and then in the background, they would cook something completely different. Uh, for whoever tried to help me out, they created 10, 100 scenarios that would actually make me reject that person uh, and so on and see them as wrong, faulty and no good and so on and so forth. They, they would not even meddle in front of them and in front of me or anything like this or try to affect them in any way. But instead of that, they would take their actions against me, against their will to help me on the side. Uh, the original audio about everything stated in this video is going to be played separately and it's going to be audio titled as MK Ultra in Trebnia, Slovenia, um, TPV uh, and Employment Agency, something like this. I'm going to put like in a title of the of this very video. So I cannot join all this in the same video. It's just, uh, it doesn't work like this. So it's got to be separate. Uh, to, be, to give a total, total precision on how exactly the situation in this city here. See, this is a novel mesto here. And this is a company I'm going to also talk about right now. And how the, how the situation in this place here alone developed. Yeah, this here, this is the location right here that you see it, right here. This is where I was today. How the situation here in this city developed politically developed this situation. This here, yeah, the name of the company is Eurotech, Logistic International Spedition. The owner of this company is a Roma person who obtained financing also through this MK Ultra case. He got involved in it. It's a really nice man. He wanted to help out and he did help out as much as he possibly could. But then it was all kinds of racist issues that appear in the picture. And very, very, very unfortunately, a bad word came out about this place here. And this was actually a tragedy because a lot of people actually suffered tremendously in this place, Velika Loka, where now you have this company, TPV, Novo Mesto. If somebody wants to know how this situation actually developed, and again, we have a top politicians here from Slovenia involved in it. Politics is basically how this place here developed. And things were extremely, extremely unpleasant for domestic people. This is basically how this situation here developed because TPV was not there. TPV came there in 2012, but we were here already before that because of this employer right here. They would take me here and this here, sure enough, is close to Ljubljana. Actually, this is between the Zagreb and Ljubljana and Novo Mesto, you see. Novo Mesto, my hometown, Ljubljana and Zagreb right here. Just if somebody wants to know how this thing developed, I also know the history about this company. Yeah, I see what this is all about. Um, this was not the only situation. This was not the only thing. Um, this was not only in Slovenia. This was not only in Poland. This was not only in Czech Republic. They always involved Roma people. It was two things that caused this thing. One thing was myself, which politicians have used for a personal gains, profits foremost, uh, to lure basically financiers, uh, politicians, foreign politicians with investments to certain areas, to certain locations. Then the next thing they would do is they would also invent all kinds of problems through our racism, division of the society by involving minorities such as Roma people. Um, people already who are severely persecuted against, people that have a difficulty to subsist in our societies. Simple as this, people who never had any easy life in our societies. And so the next thing what they would do is they would blow the whole thing out of proportions 
and punish people beyond uh, believable. People who are people, either Polish people or Czech people or Slovenian people who in reality did not give a shit about um, really about the politics. But I remember when they were told that they have to take the side, the side of Americans, so they have to take the side of Germans or whoever, if they wanted to be on the picture with me, help me out somehow. Basically, people that somehow saw really Jesus in me and have decided to take this plunge into ocean of problems. Basically, that politicians orchestrated against them afterwards, uh, claiming that they are racist, that this, that. There were bad people in it, make no mistake about this, but still I'm going to tell you like this. What happened in this place, Velka Loka, in Slovenia, what happened in Ostrava, what happened in Luoc, what happened where, whenever they, they did this kind of stuff to the people without justification because they would destroy families, they would rip families apart claiming they are racist and I don't know what, through the MK Ultra, through doing bad things to them. The only thing that happened was it makes the police who got involved in this stuff completely indifferent from the criminals in case you have not realized that because you started to do the job that criminals usually do drugging up people subject to mk ultra and giving a support to the criminals to the politicians who don't have this kind of authorities they are not designated they are not entitled to perform a torture on human beings as having them drugged up and do the stuff like this makes you actually indifferent from a regular criminals we all as a society as human beings fight should fight against fiercely with everything we have and it made the people who used to call themselves communists now you're talking about the babiches you're talking about pahor you're talking about a whole bunch of these politicians that call themselves that associate themselves with the communism and you know, the pahar is not actually the worst. Pahar is actually a really uh, interesting bird. I yet have to learn more about the pahar because pahar got himself in a situation. It's not that I would want to defend one, but this situation, the circumstance became so complicated that you have no idea because of the degree of the level of the politicians that appear in the, in the background. Yeah, you're talking about all kinds of politicians, not only American politicians. You're talking about the Kremlin. You're talking about the Israeli politicians and Germans and everything else in between. And so now, whether you like it or not, you have to take certain steps, uh, even the steps that you don't want. So I'm not here to judge anybody, but I'm trying to tell you that you, if you saw yourself as a communist, if you, if you believe anything in being different, from the Nazis, this kind of treatments, this kind of MK Ultra stuff, actually made you look in eyes of the people completely, completely indifferent. Actually, in front of the eyes of the law, you came out as completely indifferent from the Nazis, from the fascists, by doing exactly what they brought to our society, um, by actually associating yourself to their criminal views through the actions you have taken against your own people. And as far as the Roma people, if this was actually used to invoke in me in some kind of feeling of injustice or invoke some kind of feeling of injustice in the people, in our people, in Slovenian people or Czech people or Polish people against Roma people whom politicians involved in this stuff I anticipate that's exactly why, so that people would hurt damage in this process. I'm just going to say like this, that these Roma people are just as guilty as myself. No, I did not, they did not only demonstrate me humanity throughout this case. This is not what this is all about. These people were traditionally persecuted, had a difficult life. And they had absolutely nothing to do with all this stuff. Uh, if somebody wants to help as a foreign politician, as an investor, he would help. 
cute they would not do stuff like this they would not steer this with the money and divide the whole society polarize the society but uh, most of them they have chosen different ways so I say that if you can't help if you can't if you can't do better than this uh, I said let it go you know I definitely am not gonna go against them I'm gonna go with them if you're gonna go and judge them uh, if you're gonna see them in some scenario that they are a part of something they're guilty of something then as well as mine you're gonna judge me too if you can judge me go ahead and judge me this is disgusting I am disgusted and with the police and with our politicians and everything shame on you shame on you